The Election Commission of India announced assembly elections in five crucial states Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, and Mizoram would be held between November 7th and 30th. The counting of votes would take place on 3rd December for all the five states. There are a total of 16.14 crore voters in the five states going to polls, which is approximately one sixth set of the total voters in country. Harvard University professor Claudia Golden received the Nobel Prize for Economics on Monday in recognition of her groundbreaking research that has significantly advanced the understanding of the gender gap in the labor market. Israel imposed a total siege on the Gaza Strip on Monday and cut off the water supply as it kept bombing targets in the crowded Palestinian enclave in response to the Hamas surprise assault it has likened to the 9-11 attacks. A protracted Israel-Hamas conflict could spur oil prices beyond India's comfort zone and even if the government holds retail fuel prices ahead of critical elections, wholesale prices may spike and a higher import bill could pressure the rupee. Recent actions against journalists at the online portal NewsClick, including raids, seizures and arrests, have amplified the need for digital data protections. ILO study 15% of adults globally have mental disorders, work conditions significantly impact mental health. The data for the charts was sourced from the Reserve Bank of India's Consumer Confidence Survey. Adivasi communities in India lack proper representation in villages despite residing in scheduled areas and sent populated regions. The future of AI models lies in multimodal systems for more comprehensive human-like cognition. The Periodic Labour Force Survey, PLFS, carried out by the National Sample Survey Office, NSSO, has reported that unemployment rate in urban areas of the country has shown a decrease during the period April to June 2023. The National Survey process details from 5,639 first-stage sampling units FSUs, and 1,67,916 people from 44,190 urban houses. Foreign ministers from multiple countries to attend IORA meeting in Colombo, Sri Lanka to assume chairmanship. The annual report, 2022-23, of the Ministry of Home Affairs, MHA, call for an advanced smart fencing system of 100 kilometers along the Myanmar border is in the pipeline to strengthen the existing surveillance system.